for today's video we're gonna have a little cooking tutorial if you're interested keep on watching So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do calabacitas con queso with chile, tomate, cebolla, and carne de puerco. This one's right here. I got this at Walmart. It retails for only $6.77. So if you're in a budget, bitch, get this one. But yeah, let me show you real quick. Cut the calabacitas. And then I'm gonna add this right here, the three chile jalapenos, una cebolla, one tomato, and then this one. I'm gonna cut it into little pieces, and yeah, bitch, this is gonna come out like so motherfucking good. Let me just show you. So what you wanna do with your calabacitas, you just wanna cut it, but you wanna like rinse them, so just to make sure that they're all clean, and if your hands are clean, then you can like do this or whatever. But I mean, that's really up to you. Also, the knives that I used to cut them, it was this one. These are pretty good knives. I really like them because, I don't know, you can you buy them at Subs. Um, they're pretty affordable. Like, the whole set comes up to, like, $7. And that's what I really like about these knives. So, right now, he's doing, my brother-in-law, he's cutting the cebolla into, like, little pieces. And you just, that's pretty much up to you how you want to cut it. Tomate. Los tres chiles jalapeños. If you don't want to eat, you don't have to add the jalapeños, but I really like the jalapeños because it makes it like, it gives it like the really like Mexican flavor. And I mean, that's what we're looking for when you're making like, uh, Mexican food or whatever. The Mexican flag. I always say that. Period. Mm -hmm. Once you're done cutting all your condiments or all like the chile, tomato, cebolla, it should look like this. If it doesn't look like this, because there's something wrong with you. So what I like to do when I'm cutting the calabaza, you just cut like this little pedazo right here because obviously you're not gonna eat that shit. And then you just cut like the other side and then you just cut it like a la mitad and then a la mitad otra vez y a la mitad otra vez and then you just like kind of like flip it around and then you just kind of like just keep on cutting. And you want to do like real thin slices or whatever. I mean, that's pretty much up to you. Es como que te guste. But if you want to think then you get them thick. But if you don't, then you don't. And yeah, and that's pretty much all you do. Okay. Okay. What I have to do is that, oh wait. Is that I have to cut these, these cheese. So, <laughs> so. So I so I, so they can put the cheese inside here so the cheese came out in whatever these are called. And so yeah, so now I have to cut all of this cheese and that's it. Period. Oh yeah. Period. What are you guys doing? A little spia moment. <laughs> There, Sophia's cutting the cheese, and all this is ready. Then what we're gonna do is sartén que empiece a ahumar. Like, if this is happening, this is perfectly fine. Just make sure to do this and that, so all the smoke can fucking go over there. And then you're gonna put some butter on it. Sacar mucho humo like that, then something's going wrong. So what you wanna do is you wanna Put that shit on almost low, but not too low. But yeah, and then you want to add the butter so it can like, se derrita.
once the butter it's already melting and it's looking like that then you are gonna add the little calabazas and you just wanna kind of like shake it so like the butter can be on it and then you want to add some salt i like to use sea salt because i don't want to get i don't want to gain weight but i mean that's totally up to you i like to use this pink salt that's my favorite you can get that at walmart or sam's and then you want to add some pepper on it just to make sure it gives it like that spicy you know what i'm saying like that little flavor of pepper and then when you add pepper you want to add pepper like as much as you like if you like a lot of pepper then you add a shell of pepper if you don't then don't bitch and then you just kind of like shake it and then I can, i'm gonna cut that piece of and then you just want to like But then if the if the butter like starts like como saltar y a quemar a todo, then you stop doing it and just leave it, leave it. <laughs> then just leave, let it chill there for a minute or two. This this looks like a pretty good size or whatever. Like done cutting them or whatever, like you might want to like wash them just to make sure that everything is real clean. You know what I'm saying or whatever. With cold water, do not use hot water because if you do, bitch, then you just cut the whole shit. that I like it to just like place my spoon there so I don't leave it inside the pan and then cause you know I usually if it's a plastic one they will get melted or whatever but this is like pretty good and it retails for only one dollar at Dollar Tree and yeah it's pretty good you guys should get it and if it's like kind of like suavecita then you want to add the rest and I already grabbed one and you're right, it's kind of suavecita, so I'm gonna like add the Mexican flag and just mix it all together. Period, this looks so motherfucking good. <laughs> okay, so what are we about to do? Vamos a cortar los little pork carne and you make want to make sure that you wash your hands before doing anything and you just want to like cut them in like little pieces or whatever i like to cut them around the bone because i like to add the bone to the to the meat when i'm doing it i don't know why it's just like part of my beliefs and a mexican tradition in my family so yeah so after you do that you just want to like cut it And that's it. Once you're done cooking, uh, cutting all the meat, everything should look like this. I have my carne on this side and I have my rest on this side just to like kind of separate them. And yeah. sartén a calentar and then you're gonna add a little bit of vegetable oil not so much because the carne de puerco it already has like grasa on it so you don't need that much now we're just gonna let it chill and we'll be right back um, carne de puerco just so you can like start chilling in there with the oil So now we're gonna add garlic salt and you pretty much can add as much as you want but I just like a little bit. I think that's enough and then I'm gonna add this one just so you can give it like a little flavor. Just like that and then you always want to use pink salt just because I feel like it's better and it's more healthy than the other one. And yeah, so the carne de puerco it's cooking then now you need to check on the calabazas and as you see like you can pretty much you can feel it through the spoon when it's soggy 
Now you want to add the cheese. I feel like it's the perfect time to add the cheese. You put the cheese on it, then now you want to mix it and you just want to like have all the calabazas to have all the cheese all over the meat. And then you sit it. And you want to make sure that there's nothing on the walls of the pan. So you want to make sure you bring everything to the middle just so everyone, everyone in the pan can get the cheese and no one can get left over. And while you're doing that, once you have the cheese, you want to make sure that you have your stove on low or medium or however you prefer it. And yes, yeah. it cooks for itself. They just I just like to like a little bit como revolver el queso entre todas las calabazas. But yeah, once you do that again, you bring everything to the center and then you just let it chill on low and it should cook by itself. It's chilled and now we're gonna check on this right here. So what you want to focus on is that the, the meat doesn't look pink no more because if it looks pink, then you know that's wrong. So you want to make sure that everything looks white. So you want to make sure that you are flipping everything and you know, just making sure it's white. Check on the calabacitas and you can see like you can see the cheese melting in the middle of everything you just want to give it like a little mini adita so all the calabazas can get the cheese this is so fucking good guys i'm literally like se me están tojando y eso que estoy a dieta and it has a lot of cheese i might risk it for tonight or whatever You're like done meniendolo and everything, then you just want to cover it just to make sure that all the calabazas, I mean, all the carne gets the heat and everything gets cooked. But yeah, you want to make sure that you cover it. Like this, it gives you like a texture and you feel like it's kind of espesito. Then, bitch, that's when you know this is ready. And do you just want to like look at this? Look at this, bitch. Don't tell me this does not turn me on. Like, this is making me so fucking wet. I'm literally, <laughs> estoy babiando. Oh, yeah. So now you want to make sure you turn it off, porque si no, estas vergas se te queman. And then, te quedas como pendejo. Everything, guys, about the carne de puerco, if it starts bubbling like that, and you can see it through the fucking thing to the tapadera, then that means that you need to uncover it for a little bit, si no, Va a empezar a hacer un pinche marronero de agua and that's literally what you're not looking for. So, you just want to let it chill like that and then you want to cover it again. And also like what really helps is the uh, tapaderas that they have this little agujerito. I know this one has it but since I have it on kind of high then that's probably the reason why. But yeah. Well, I'm, I'm gonna let it chill for a few minutes and then ahorita let me let you know I'm a little badass and right now I have my little uh, sample of the calabazas because I just wanted to try them. So, yeah. Bitch. This tastes so good. You want some? Here. Ah, you thought, bitch. But yeah. This is so good. Like, I literally feel it in my mouth. I just feel like the cheese. <laughs> I just feel like the cheese. It's like, I don't know, super melted. And then it's in between the calabazas and everything. Mm -hmm. comment section below of the way I eat bitch I know I fucking eat like a fat ass and I don't give two fucks so if you have something to say 
keep it to yourself because I don't give two single fucks about it. Cheers. Your cabinet starts looking like this. Then that means that it's ready. And once it's ready, then that's when you add whatever the fuck you're going to add to it. Chile, tomate, cebolla, because you know I'm such a Mexican. So let's bring this over here. And let's just put it in there. Pure you. I don't know, and you just want to make sure that you keep like mixing it or whatever. But yeah. You always want to make sure that you um, mix everything together and que no haya mucho chile de un lado y mucho tomate del otro, mucha cebolla del otro. Like, you know what I'm trying to say? Just want to make sure that everything is mixed together so it can like fry with the oil and con la grasa del puerco. And yeah, guys, this is so motherfucking good. I love chile, tomate, cebolla con carne de puerco. I really don't need it as usual as I used to be when I was like younger. Because now I'm like trying to take care of myself. And carne de puerco, I only eat it like literally once a month. Y so cuando me toca, I'm like, this is so good. So I try my best to make it good as fuck. But yeah. So we just want to like... Desparramar todo, and once everything is desparramado, then once again you want to put the tapadera on just so it can cook. And yeah, so you're gonna let it chill for a few minutes, and we'll be back once it's done. Okay, so once everything starts looking like this, then that means that it's almost ready, but I mean, it's pretty much up to you if you want to leave it longer on the stove or not, but I personally think it's good like this. I like it like this. My family likes it like this, and honestly, pretty much that's all I care about, so I guess we're done or whatever. I win. Okay guys, so it seems like la carne ya está. So I have my little sample right here of the carne. And yeah, so right now we're gonna have the little review moment, the little reveal moment, the little testing moment where we have mm. Okay, tell me why. Every time I cook my food comes out so bomb like literally so bomb tell me why i think i should just become a chef or whatever period this is so motherfucking good Fuck the diet at this moment. Mm. And nothing better to have to drink but water with ice because if you don't love water with ice, then I don't know what is wrong with you, honey. Make sure, ante todo, keep yourself hydrated and save the penguin or turtles, whatever. Cut. Period. You get some.